classification of life into a nested hierarchy based on shared anatomical, genetic, and embryological features also offers a set of predictions on the order in which groups should have appeared in the fossil record. The simplest organisms, which share the least with the higher groups of organisms, should have been the first to evolve. Bacteria are not only the first organisms in the fossil record, but they are the only organisms known in the fossil record for 1.5 billion years. Simple eukaryotic cells, the protists, appear about 2 billion years ago in the Precambrian, and they and bacteria are the only organisms until about 700 million years ago. Sponges are the simplest animals, and the only animals in the fossil record known to predate the Ediacaran period. In the Ediacaran period, which begins about 630 million years ago, this is the end of the Precambrian, Cnidarians are the most diverse and common group. Worms are known in the Ediacaran period, and advanced worms with complete digestive systems, and then even potentially segmented worms appear by the end of the Ediacaran period. In the very last moments of the Ediacaran period, primitive coelomates and hemichordates appear, or at least uh, organisms related to them. When the Phanerozoic Eon begins with the Paleozoic Era and the Cambrian period, chordates are known, as are primitive fish, which are craniates and vertebrates, as are the hagfish and lampreys alive today. Primitive nathostome fish are present in the fossil record by the Ordovician through the Silurian period. By the end of the Silurian period, the most primitive Osteichthyan fish are known. By the early Devonian, primitive Sarcopterygian fish are known. By the end of the Devonian, the first tetrapods have evolved, and by the early Carboniferous, these tetrapods have produced amniums. Over a long period of time, primitive reptiles evolve through a series of synapsid reptiles stages to produce the first mammals by the mid-Triassic period. Therian mammals appear by the Jurassic period and placental mammals by the Cretaceous period. The primates are first known in the beginning of the Cenozoic era and then in order members of the anthropoid primates Caterine primates, apes, higher apes, family homininae, <laughs> subfamily homininae, and then finally the direct human ancestors are known. And so the order of organisms that one would predict based on the nested hierarchy of life's classification is exactly what is supported by the order of appearance in the fossil record.